Hey guys, I have a very special video because I finally got my new bullet journal. As you guys know, I'm almost done with my green lesson from 1917, that's why I finally got a new journal. Today I will be reviewing my brand new Spiritbots That Matter journal. So this is an A5 dog weight journal that I first saw on Instagram and ever since I saw it, it was love at first sight. <laughs> I really like the doodles that it has on the cover and I, I had to get one. So guys, with no further ado, let's just dive into today's video. Alright everyone, here we are, let's start this comparison video. First of all, I want to say that this video is not sponsored. I got this journal because I really, really like it. So I got mine on Amazon. It was approximately 16 euros. You can see here it's an A5, just like my Loisterm 1917, and it's dog red. So as you can see, the journal is covered in beautiful doodles. It comes in a different, in a variety of colors, and I chose this uh, light blue because I I really like this color. So let's open it up. As you can see, it's got two page markers, and you have a pen holder here. As you open the journal up. As you can see, you've got a page uh, where you can uh, write your your name. I like the fact that you can uh, put in when you start your journal. Down here, it says to avoid ruining your new journal, try out all new pens on the pen test page at the end. And I'm gonna do that in a moment. Next, you have the Scribbles That Matter A5 dotted journal page, and then you directly dive into the key page and the index. I really like the fact that they added this key page. I have two areas. Here it's for the bullets and here it's for the color code. On this side you have the index, it's a scribbles off and pages. And I believe, yes, it's got three pages of it. Then we directly dive into our dotted journal. As you can see, the pages are numbered just like in the Loisterm 1917. However, it's not got as many pages as the Loisterm. As you can see here, it's got 185 pages, which is not as much compared to the Leuchtturm, which has 249, 248 pages. And on the end of the journal, as you can see here, you have a pen test page, and that's where I'm gonna do a pen test. But before doing that, I want to see which journal is whiter. So if I open my Leuchtturm 1917, here, pretty similar but I'd say that the Scribbles That Matter is slightly wider than the Loisterm 1917. The Loisterm has these um, kind of creamish white pages while the, the Scribbles That Matter is like much wider, it's much lighter. I really like the fact that it's got two page marks. Now, I can't really compare them with the Leuchtturms because I haven't been using them, but I can say that the ones from the Leuchtturms are pretty solid because I've been using this journal intensively <laughs> over the past few months and they're holding so, so well. Here on the side, we have the pen holder and I really wanna try. So this is the fine liner that I use all the time. It's a Unipen fine line and I, I really wanna see if it's hard to put it in. And no, it's not and I'm really happy about it. Cause you guys should know that I used to have a pen holder um, in one of my oldest bullet journal. And that's one of my very first bullet journal. If you haven't seen it already, I filmed a video about it. It's a playthrough of this journal. And in here I had a pen holder from uh, Leuchtturm. And this happened to be just so small that I couldn't fit anything in it. For example, if I try to put this in, as you can see, it's really hard. And that was really disappointing. If you're looking for a journal that has a pen holder already, that's like, this is the best choice, I'd say. Now guys, I just can't wait to do the pen test. I'm gonna try all different kind of pens, 
Now let's take this guy in here. So I'm going to try some koi brushes, some saddle fan liners, uh, some my liners, and um, some um, Tombow brushes as well. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna start with the fine liner. Okay, let's see if there is any ghosting. Wow, <laughs> there is nothing to be seen. There is barely any ghosting. Let's take some brushes here. I'm gonna go for lavender because this is the latest color. I got it like this week and I'm so happy about it. All right, let's see. Wow. Wow, this works so well. Like you barely see anything. And I've got an artificial light right here. So it's really like you, like you would see it if there was ghosting, like heavy ghosting. Then I'm gonna move on and uh, use some of my Tombows. Let's take this one. All right, let's see. Boom. Wow, no ghosting, like no ghosting. Next, I'm going to use some my liners. Let's take this purple here because I love it, love it. You can see here I had multiple layers of my my liner, but still it holds really well. Next, let's try one um, set of fine liner. Get the thing here. Today, guys, we're using so much like pink, purple, right? <laughs> All right. Barely anything. The feathers work so well. Like, so I can't, like, you can't see anything. Next, I want to try out a fountain pen on it to see if it's um, fountain pen friendly. Here I have my lovely um, <laughs> Kakuno, which is a fountain pen for children. So well, let's try it out. Okay, let's see. Wow, nothing, nothing at all. Now guys, I'm going to try something more um, violent. <laughs> I'm going to try some of these highlighters. Some Stabilo highlighters. Let's take the orange here. See if there is any bleeding. Like... Wow, no bleed through. What? This paper works really well. Okay, so far it's worked really well. Maybe a permanent marker. Well, a permanent marker is going to bleed through, right? Okay, let's try it out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to bleed through. Oh yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a good idea, but whatever, we tried it out. So guys, you know, no permanent markers on <laughs> this, these journals whatsoever. What didn't we cover? The ribbon here. So the elastic ribbon looks pretty solid. Similar compared to the one in my Loisturm and much better than the one you could have in a Moleskin, for example. Also, I really like what it feels like when you have it in your hands. Overall, guys, I'm really happy about this journal. The only negative point compared to my Lodgestrom is that there aren't as many pages, so probably it won't last more than three months. I think, besides that, it's got an index just like the Leuchtturm, numbered pages. The pages are whiter than the Leuchtturm, but that's something that I'm happy about. You have two page markers just like the Leuchtturm. You have a pen holder that the Leuchtturm does not have, but you don't have the extra detachable pages, which uh, isn't really like a negative point to me because I don't use them anyways. So guys, you'll be seeing this guy a lot here on my channel because I've got only uh, some pages left on this journal and the Scribbles That Matter journal is officially going to be my next bullet journal. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in a comment below what you thought about my new Scrapers That Matter video. Do you have one? Do you plan on getting one? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos. So guys, I hope you all have a great day over there wherever you are. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.